maybe some red that looks like a flower that you want to put in there go for it now in between these we're spraying some gray uh, let's use orange again get some higher up now then now that we have our colors and we have green in between we're gonna spray a thick coat of blue I'm gonna put that right here that's what you wanna do just like so real thick now then we're gonna spray paint some white on top of that okay I'm gonna spray paint some green all this other part in the back here now we have our our primary colors and there are base colors on the sheet on the bottom we're gonna go ahead and put some darker colors to go on top of that so for the red I'm gonna go ahead and put some maybe some black for the orange I'm gonna go ahead and put some brown the blue is a tricky one I'm gonna put white on the orange well, I'm gonna put some more orange on it and some yellow. Now again, now again, this is a new technique I'm showing you guys. Cover your whole sheet Oops. in white. White. I'm adding some orange on the green just because I'm picky like that. <laughs> okay, white is a neutral color and it will not do too much harm to your painting if you paint it all white white I've noticed after all my years of experience will not create a chemical reaction or bubbles with the other paints so it's okay if you use four colors as long as it's white maybe some black but green and blue and anything else well you're just asking for it there besides it creates a a great pasty like color okay now I am adding on top of all those colors some orange some red it's okay because we have our neutral color which is the white on the bottom and maybe some blue no more than three this is more advanced techniques and I will get into this some more okay now do you guys remember where we put our blue on the bottom this is where this tool comes in handy right here I'm gonna create the glass using this little tool so we're gonna come in start about something like this and then we drop down very gently see all those colors Just like so and see how all that mixes real well good now it's very important you remember where you left your flowers and I do so. Oh, let's use some clear coat. Usually I would be doing this a lot faster, but we have to take our time. I want you guys to start painting like pros. I think it's a lot better for creating petals. And it's just quick strokes. Just like so, see that? All right, now we had another one right down here. So for that one, I believe I'm just gonna do something. Mm. Oh, let's use some clear coat. Good. Let's create a daisy maybe with it. Okay, I'm gonna do that there and there. And there, and there, and there. Let's create, and I am no flower expert, but you can kind of come up with your own flower, and I can pretty much guarantee you there's one out there that exists just like it.
Go create a small rose. All right. Now then, I do believe we had another one up here. One of the things that I've sold the most, especially in galleries, Southwestern or not, flowers. Uh, space scenery has sold mostly on the net. I have nothing against space sceneries. Hey, we all began somewhere, right? And space sceneries were my first ones that I started. Uh, okay, let's just keep. But I do believe that spray paint is taking a different toll. It's it's becoming more of a realistic art. To get used to your media, then you can begin creating anything else. We've done fruit bowls, we've done swans, flowers as you can see, many things. Now the brown was added, added on there on purpose, not just to make it look like a sunflower, but we're going to use some of that brown to add highlights. That. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this painting. This painting is done. And as all Spray Castle paintings, they have the Spray Castle logo in the back and my signature. This painting is done. Until next well, time, thank you and keep those cans spraying.